Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Four days from now, Alberta must begin providing medical assistance for what used to be referred to as euthanasia or assisted suicide, but is now referred to as assisted death. In the past two days, we've had an extraordinary debate on the proposed regulations which will govern this pivotal process. Members of all opposition parties provided a great deal of feedback to the government, so to the Premier. Based on the incredible insights that you have been offered in the six hours that were allotted, what specific sections of the regulations will you amend? The Associate Minister of Health. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the question. Uh, we were very uh, pleased to have the debate in the House, as well as have, being the only legislature in our country, or provincial legislature in our country, debating this at the moment. Uh, the Cabinet will be reviewing the regulations shortly, and I look forward to sharing them after that discussion. First supplemental. Given that Alberta will likely approve regulations for medically assisted dying before uh, federal legislation is in place, and given that, based on the draft regulations, Alberta's medical assistance for dying is more closely aligned with the Supreme Court's decision, or the Carter decision, uh, than the proposed federal legislation, Bill C-14, which offers more protection for vulnerable Albertans. To the Minister of Health, what aspects of the regulations are you prepared to change to ensure that they will align with C-14 if it's approved in its present form? Associate Minister of Health. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the question. As of Monday, the Carter decision on this issue is the law of the land, and all of the regulations that we have put forward comply with that. At the time that the federal government finishes uh, passing their <laughs> regulatory and legislative framework around this, we will amend any of our regulations that are required to be so to comply with the federal jurisdiction. Second supplemental. Mr. Speaker, we are looking for specifics. Perhaps we'll try it this way. Given that the legal ground for medical assisted death is expected to shift due to the differences between C-14 and Carter, and given that Alberta's regulations governing the process of medical assisted death may well have to be changed to reflect future court decisions to the Associate Minister of Health, will you commit to fully consulting with Albertans about any and all future changes to the regulations? Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the question, uh, as we've said before, the federal government has the primary responsibility for legislation in this area, and we intend for any of the Alberta framework to comply with the federal legislation. It is the criminal code. They have jurisdiction over it. It's not passing the buck. It's just the way it is. We will continue to hear from Albertans on this very important and deeply personal issue. And it is a very new issue in both medicine and in law. So we will be watching very closely as the situation develops in the coming months and years.